In this, is, in this next example, I've been given two sides of a right triangle and no third side, but I know that using Pythagoras, I can solve for that third side, but I have no angles in here. So somehow I'm going to have to be able to go from this shape, the side length, the length or ratio description of this triangle to work out an angle. Now, given the look of that, it looks, you know, maybe somewhere around 60, 70 degrees. But first things first, I'm going to solve this triangle. So I need to solve for that third side. So I'm going to use Pythagoras. So I'm going to call that side x. And you know, we know that's a short side. So we have to take the long side squared minus a shorter side squared. Okay, so I end up with x squared is equal to 49 minus 16. Okay, I'm just going to move down here. So keep it out of the way. So x squared is equal to 33. x is equal to plus minus square root 33. So we'll just say that that is square root 33. Okay, so this length here is approximately 5.8, you know, somewhere around there. That's, so that looks about right, 5.8. Okay, so we have solved for all three sides. So we know what this shape is by the lengths of the sides. But now we have to figure out the shape of this based on the angle. So I know that the tangent of angle A, so when I do the input of angle A, Okay, my tangent ratio will work out to be square root 33 over 4. That's my slope, rise over run. And if you really want, you can put that into a decimal form. Okay, in decimal form, it's square root 33 divided by 4. And I'm getting about 1.436. Okay, I'm just going to leave it exact exact value though. And if you... I'm more comfortable with these exact values, but if you want to convert it to decimal, you can, but I encourage you to start getting more used to these exact value expressions. Now, the problem is if I use tan, I'm going to calculate the ratio. So I can't use tan to solve this. So I have to do the opposite of tan. So here, this is again a situation where I have ratio to angle. I need to use my input is my ratio, root 33 over 4. And my output then is going to be my angle. So I use arctan to find angles. So I'm going to do second tan square root 33 divided by 4. Okay, and I end up with angle A is equal to 55.15 degrees. And I'm only going to keep two decimals for that angle. So I, I was a little bit off. I think my picture is a little bit off. But that angle A is 55.15 degrees, so the angle B in here, which I'll call B, is going to be 90 minus the 55.15 degrees. So solving for angle B, I end up with 34.85 degrees. Okay, so those are my the unknown side I solved for using Pythagoras to go from the, the side length description or ratio description of this triangle to the angular description, I needed to use my calculator. Okay, so I used, needed to use the arctan function in this case, because I'm going from ratio to angle okay, in degrees. If I went from degrees to ratio, as such I did in this question here, I need to use the tan function, okay, not the arctan, because I have the angle, I needed a ratio. So this problem really is just a word problem based on the same thing. We've been given one length, we've been given an angle. I know the shape of this triangle, but I only have one side. I need two sides to be able to write a ratio. So I'm, I don't, since I don't have anything other than this one side, I know that I can convert this angle into a ratio description of this shape. And to do that, I'm gonna use a tan ratio. Okay, so I'm going to get the opposite and adjacent ratio. So this side compared to this side is going to be the, the ratio that I get when I put this into my calculator. Okay, so I'm going to plug tan 33.7 into my calculator and I get a ratio of 0 0.6669. So I'm going to round that to 7. 
And what that means is, at this angle, this length is about 66% or two-thirds the length of this side here. Okay, that's the ratio. So I'm going to set this up. I'm going to call this my height. Okay, call that H. And my tan ratio is going to be the opposite over hypotenuse. Okay, so that ratio is going to be my tan ratio, and I get 0. 0.667 to 1. I know that's my ratio. I'm going to set up an equivalent ratio here, h over 20, rise over run. And then I'm going to solve this equation. So I get the height is equal to 0. 0.66691, etc., times 20. I'm just going to cross multiply this. So I get 0. 0.66. 7 times 20 divided by 1. So the height of that tree that I calculate is going to be 13.34. Now your measurements may be a little bit off because of the rounding. That's okay. As long as it's around that, that don't worry about the little bit of error. Same with the angles and everything like that. Don't worry about the little bit of error that you might get from the rounding error because I can tell when you have made the mistake is from rounding or just doing incorrectly. If I'm close, I know I've done it correctly and I just my discrepancy is just going to be from rounding errors.